Good evening, everyone. It's Mike, MY170, and tonight we are back with some Paper Mario. So, last time when we played, we, um, Bowser kidnapped Peach, uh, and lifted the castle up into the sky, and now, uh, we are, um, um, we found the Cooper Bros and saved Elfstar. Where's the sound? Alright, well, now we are, we have been tasked to go to the Dry Dry Desert, but before we do, there are some new badges to collect. So I think we should collect them. Here we have the first attack, which lets us destroy enemies with, um, weaker enemies with a first strike so we don't have to fight them. The speedy spin, which can increase the distance Mario can spin dash. And we also have the multi-bounce. A lot of these badges were here before, but I'm sure there'll be more badges to collect as we move forward. So, we have a task. We have to go to the dry, dry desert. And how do we get there, you may ask? I'll tell you. All right, so. We're gonna wanna spin. Oh, wait a minute. There's someone over there. <laughs> Puff! Well, hello there. My name is Bobo. I came from Flower Field, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? Who that? All right. We got a magical seed. What does it do? Well, uh, I don't know. Well, we don't know yet. I know what it does, but I'm not going to tell you. These flowers are delicate. All right. So. I won't share that. But right now, if we go here. Smack this tree, a secret pipe is unlocked. Let's talk to this guy here. We have, up to the playroom, you need a member credit. Alright, well, it looks like we can't play here, so we're gonna want to uh, come back here later when we have what they're talking about. Alright. Now here we have the Toad Town famous Little Link Farm. Hit the bar overhead, pay ten coins, and then wait for the and then wait for the egg. Hit it with a hammer to hatch the little link. Try to find out which kind of little link will be born. Alright. So I'm not, I honestly am not really sure how the little links work, but it's something. Who are these things? We can't work because Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, I guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I have always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us. At first, I said let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but eventually it came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train can't move. It's a desert town. Hmm. Well, it seems that there is a rock in the way. I love trains. I like trains. I'm ruined! Done for! A huge block is rocking the train track. Oh. Well, looks- well, don't worry, we have some firepower behind us, and the rock is blown up. And you know what that means. Oh, thank you, Mario. Alright. Let's go to Mount Rugged. Sit tight, folks. Now departing for Mount Rugged. With that, 
We begin chapter two, the mystery of dry, dry ruins. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged, passengers heading for the dry, dry desert or dry, dry outpost to proceed directly over Mount Rugged from the station. guy. Want to go dry dry desert? We'll have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow those arrows of the sideboard so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here, if you're not careful. Oh. Alright, well that's good to know. I mean, I would it would make sense considering this place is called Mount Rugged. Suck, so, oh, wacka! We can't go in, we cannot hit that block yet, so... If we hit this, we will be able to heal up. Now the heart blocks do not heal star points. Oh no, found it, where could it be? Oh sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are? You're the Mario. Hello there. The name is Paracary. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Uh-oh. Well... Looks like the USPS isn't the only postman that's having problems. We got some pro- this guy's got some problems too. Well, that's okay, we'll be happy to help him. So we have to look for some letters. We gotta help the postman. Because the mail is important. And here, we are introduced to a new enemy, the Monty Mole. Rocks. I will let Goombario um, tattle him. Max HP of 3, his attack is 2. Sleepy sheepy. Sheepy sheepy. Sheepy sheepy sheepy. Break this and we got Wacka here. Wacko! I'm Wacka! Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing, Wacka do. Let's whack you! Look out! Don't hit me! So, um, if you whack him, he will you will get a wump, a bump, which will give you 25 HP and FP. Probably one of the best recovery items you can get. However, something that should be noted, there's you cannot whack him too many times, otherwise he will go away forever. So something to keep in mind. So an item like this is uh, ooh, there's an item up there. And there's a letter. It's a badge. We got a first letter, a letter to Merlin in Toad Town. Alright, so we got... Uh, hang on, I think there's... There's more we have to do. Hey. What I want to do, you know, what I want to 
just about it. Actually, well, I'll keep doing Mario uh, just to identify enemies. Alright, so here we got an enemy here. This is the clef. Clefs are pretty strong, so you better be careful. Max HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 2. Especially these pretending to be rocks, so watch your steps. So, these guys are pretty tough. As you can see, your regular hammer won't do a thing. So your best bet is to have an item. Which, unfortunately, I do not have any power blocks. So, I'm just gonna run away from battle. You drop some coin. Now, if you drop- if you run, you drop a few coins. Ah, yeah. Well, I guess we might as well try to fight him. Thankfully, bump- thankfully, uh, clefts here are a bit susceptible to explosions. And there it goes. I think I'm gonna increase my BP. So now, uh, this was actually a good moment to wait for because now uh, I could equip a few new badges that I've been wanting to do. I could now there's the smash charge, which is good, but there's also the D down pound is also good against the clefts because they are also weak to the um, they are weak to it nullifies their defense. Is what I was trying to say. Okay, so I'm gonna equip that and I'll also equip the smash charge. That's always <coughs> good to have. I'm good with my badges so far, I would say. I think we're good. I'll keep on that out. Now, let's go over this way. Now, it looks like there's a crevice we can't really cross, so we're gonna want to go the other way. with the D-Down Pound. Bam! Lucky badges make me feel pretty lucky, I have to say. It's looking up wonders so far. Oh, there's another letter up there. Unfortunately, first striking doesn't really seem to do much, but I probably should end up using it, honestly, if I need to get more FP. Very good. Got some health back. Oh, a mushroom. It's not bad. Oh, why not? See, now it's helpful. Right. We're getting more star points and some more cash, so that's good too. Always good to have both those things. So, oh, what's over here? Red spring. Coin. Great. Uh, I'm going to 
I'm gonna agree. That doesn't do anything. Great. Well, I might as well show off Refresh here. I never got to show this before, so here's how Refresh works. Uh, it is one star power, and um, it recovers HP and FP, and it also recovers um, poisoning and strength. It's pretty good early on. Now we got some more FP use. You recover a little... You you get a little bit of the star power back every turn, so it's good. That's good too. You guys suck. These guys suck because. All right. Now, if you want, you can also um, uh, spend the turn to recover a bit more star power, which is also good too. Always a good thing to do. Star power is a bit more difficult to recover because you need to because uh, you can only recover. Honey syrup, that's good to have. In a pinch. I'd actually really need that. And whee! Alright. Uh oh, don't want to fall off. Oh, we got another letter. To Colorado. That's good to have. Alright, let's keep moving forward. Star piece over there. There's three letters that he wanted. Go down that slide right there. Coins. There he is, let's see. Alright, two other letters, yes. Well, we found one more. Let's just heal up now. I just wanted to come back to do that. So yeah, the healing blocks do not recover your star power. So we're gonna so you're gonna wanna make sure you save that. Obviously good in a pinch though. For whack it is, I do not want to hit him again right now. Nothing over here. Let's jump down. Oh, there's the last letter. Let's see. Okay, to Goom Papa and Goom Villa. These are all characters we have seen before, except for Colorado, but we've heard him vaguely mentioned. So, now that we have that last letter, we're gonna make our way back to, um, uh, Paracarry. Uh-oh. Alright, Paracarry, we got your letters. The last letter! You found it! Now I got all the letters I need. Alright. Hmm, actually, be honest, they haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. Alright. Well, looks like we got another party member. Yep, Paracarry has joined our party! Paracarry can fly in, in the air for a short time and carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump over across by himself. While in battle, he can hack with Skydive. Alright, awesome! Onward indeed. 
So yes, and Karakari also has the ability to deliver letters. He, if, as long as you're talking to someone um, that is with him in your party, you can use that to deliver letters. So that is awesome. So I think we're going to want to traverse this area again with Paracarry because there were a lot of gaps that we could not cross without it. So I think we should traverse the area to um, find some more um, stuff we couldn't get before. In fact, there's that badge over there. Now before we used Koops, time to use the other Koopa. And with that, we get a badge, Quake Hammer. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or the ceiling. This is another useful badge, although good in situations though. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's one BP to equip. This is, this, now, this not only damages enemies on the ground and the ceiling, it also flips over certain enemies. So, enemies like the Clefts, this is good to have. And the great news is it's more cost efficient compared to the D-Down Pound because um, it's more cost efficient than the D-Down Pound because it can affect multiple enemies at a time rather than just uh, one. So I think I'm going to uh, de-equip the D-Down Pound for now and put in the Quake Hammer when we're fighting Clefts. Now that's not to say the Quake, the quake ha that the D-Down Pound is useless. It's definitely good once we go up against some tougher enemies. But for now, I'm just going to put on the, uh, this one. Now, if we go over here... We saw that bulb bulb before. You're talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Oh, we're... yep. Alright, we got another magical seed that we can plant in Toad Town. So, we're definitely going to want to hold on to that. Show off this quake hammer. Bam! Takes him out twice. It's a lot now. Fighting the cleft is gonna be a lot easier because we don't have to use as much points to fight him. In fact, let's actually go this way now. Let's go fight, let's go find some more stuff, goodies on the other side. Whoa, oh, that worked out. Well, now that we're here, we might as well show off Paracarry in battle. So Paracarry has two moves. He has uh, Skydive, which basically is a jump. Ah, shoot. That's not a good demonstration of it. He's like... Alright, well... Let's just take these guys out. He was just... Wait a minute. He was just... He was, did you see that? He was just st like, st like still in the sky. He wasn't even flapping his wings. That's weird. Oh, I, won't put, I wouldn't put a bass in Oh! I missed this before. There's a secret path here with a chest. With the damage dodge. If you do the action command, it decreases Mario's damage by one. So, this is another useful badge to have. Um, basically, it decreases the amount of... Um, where is it? Hang on. It, if you do a, uh, a, an action command to dodge, it increases the amount of, da uh, it decreases the amount of damage you take. So, that, that's a pretty good badge. And if we come over here, we get a star piece. Now, if we go, if we, now another move that he has, um, attack, um, you could, uh, paracarry, he has a shell shot attack, which you can ram into enemies, and it does quite a bit of damage. I think it actually pierces defense, I'm not sure. I would not know. But it did a lot of damage to him, so that's good. If we go up here, I think there might have been something we didn't, that we couldn't have gotten before. Oh. Let's just dodge him. Let's keep fighting this, so I just want to take out more enemies just so we can get more experience. Oh, 
got more FP, that's good. Go this way. Doesn't look like much else is here. Okay, I think we've done everything we needed to, so now we can go back the other way and we can continue onward onto our quest. Oh, watch out for the rock. Well, at least we're not playing the other Mario where we're at the, but At least we're not playing Super Mario 64 where we have to watch for rolling rocks. Thankfully, we are not playing that. Alright, before I go down, before I cross, I just want to make sure there's nothing else here that we can get. Nope. Uh, ah, very well on, um... FP. I think my next level, I'm gonna wanna upgrade that. Oh. Hang on. I'm gonna wanna drink this. Because we got something coming up. Bird. Hey there! Hold up a second, partner! Just a darn minute. I seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look like a lot like this fella Mario who is a Bowser's Wally poster. Now give, what's your name? My name is Princess Peach. What's that, Princess Peach? You take me for a fool? Princess Peach is captured up there at Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for a little fibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your whooping. So yes, if you say Mario Luigi, you won't have to fight him. But if you say you're Mar the Peach's Peach, you will fight Buzzar. Or you will fight this guy, Buzzar. So this is a bit of an this is an optional boss. You don't have to fight this, but it's always good to fight extra bosses for experience. Ah, that's that was not good. There we go. That's how you do that. Only one damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, it, 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 he has incapacitated uh, Paracarry. Alright. Alright, if you get out of that attack, then you'll be fine. Alright, let's keep doing... Well, I don't have that much of a power bound, so I think I'm just gonna... Oh, shoot. I was like that. He's not really that hard. Oh, shoot. Not... Bam! That did a lot of damage. Ah! That's gonna hurt. Oof, that hurt. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna use my fried stream and heal off. That way I have some extra moves up there. So I'm gonna switch into the Mario. That was a good call. Let's tattle him. This is Buzzar. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Oh, his attack is four. Oh, wow. Oh. Goombari uses trains rights. Okay, he only has 21 HP left. I think we're fine. Oh, come on. How... How the heck? Oh, you really have to press the button fast if you want to get out of that, clearly. Let's just refresh, just so I can get some health back. Power ah. 
supposed to get out of that? Bazaar is down. He gets a few star points for doing that, so it's a good thing to fight him. Yeah, I got whoops! Alright, he's done, which means we can advance onward. Alright. Thankfully, we get a place to heal, which is good. 